Hi, I'm Jim, W6LG, your YouTube Elmer for Ham Radio Basics. Welcome to my radio room here in Rockland, California. Received a nice email a few weeks ago from uh, Eric Johnson, KF0 ADB, and Eric writes, I love watching your videos and I find them highly informative. You make an excellent Elmer. You're able to explain things very clearly in great detail without making it too confusing. Could you make a video on what impedance is and how it applies to ham radio. I know it is a somewhat complicated topic and the explanations out there on the internet aren't that great. Sure, Eric, let's do that right after this. CQ, CQ from Northern California, Whiskey 6 Lima Golf. Whiskey 6 Lima Golf calling, CQ, hello, CQ. CQ calling, CQ, hello, CQ. Whiskey 6 Lima Golf, Whiskey 6 Lima Golf. Eric wrote in an email uh, if I, and asked if I could explain what impedance is uh, and how it applies to ham radio. And that's an excellent question. Um, so let's break it down into a couple of things. Uh, impedance is going to apply to AC circuits. Resistance is the opposition to the flow of current. And uh, in a DC circuit, for the most part, there's really just resistance. When you get to an AC circuit, other things start to happen because of the um, alternating current. Uh, at RF, at 20 meters, for example, it's 14,000, 14 million rather, cycles per second. Um, so in AC circuits, a couple of other things come into play and they're called reactants. Reactants, it's reacting to the alternating current. And reactance comes in two forms. Reactance can be capacitive reactance and it can be inductive reactance. And uh, that combination of just plain resistance, well, basic resistance plus inductive and or capacitive reactance is impedance. So impedance is the combination, all, all measured in ohms to make it really confusing, of resistance reactants. Reactants has two, there's two different kinds of reactants, capacitive and inductive reactants. The combination of those things is impedance and each one of those is measured in ohms. So for example, um, if you're looking at, a, at um, headphones, uh, they might be 8 ohm impedance or 50 ohm impedance or some other number. If you're looking at a microphone, it might have a uh, 50,000 ohm impedance, or it might have a uh, 600 ohm impedance. If you're looking at an antenna, which is what we're going to do next, uh, it may have a fairly low impedance, like 35 or 40 or 50 ohms. So in these AC circuits, um, an AC is an alternating current, and RF is an alternating current, it generates a field. Capacitive reactance and inductive reactance. Capacitive reactance is labeled X and a small c, and inductive reactance is X and a small l. To make it really clear, if we're looking at a dipole, let's say it's a standard half-wave dipole where each side is a quarter wavelength, so there's a feed line, which has an impedance, and an antenna, which has an impedance. That current is alternating back and forth, back and forth, back, well, plus, minus, plus, minus, each side of the cycle is happening. And at ham radio frequency, it's happening uh, millions of times in a second. So that generates a field. Now, if the antenna is exactly the right length and, and exactly the right impedance and there is no reactance, um, then the, uh, the length of that dipole is its resonant frequency. Say that again. If a dipole has no reactance, either capacitive or inductive, it's at its resonant frequency. The SWR may be high, but that's its resonant frequency. Anyway, I hope that helps. I'm still working on this radio room. I've still got some room echo issues and um, the tower's up in the backyard. That's the good news and I'm gonna uh, shoot some video of that today and. Uh, tomorrow I may be able to um, show the, uh, the mounting of some elements. I'm hoping to get the boom on the top of the tower uh, tomorrow. 
The tower is motorized. I built motors and a power supply to control the motors and it all seems to be working fairly well. All right, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please uh, do that. And if you have a comment, place it below. If you know that I made a mistake somewhere in the description, uh, let us all know about that. We'll, uh, we'll fix that in the next video. 73 for now. I'm Jim, W6LG, your YouTube Elmer for Ham Radio Basics. Thanks for watching.